Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And yes, I am loading the train up, that is because it is time to do a bit of a mining run. Uh, this mining run is also going to be a, a bit of a building run too, because we have some stations we have to build so we have a better place to land this train, which is what we're going to do. And I sort of have some ideas, plans of sort of themes for the station. Obviously the desert, I'm sure you can always already figure out what the, the Xanite mine's gonna, gonna be, but that's gonna be the finale, because the first place we're gonna head to today is the cold, frigid south, which sounds strange, because you, you expect the north to be cold. But anyways, I went ahead and loaded this thing up too. I went through like 10 stacks of deuterium, so that is all good. Uh, it has been twitching a little bit. Uh, supposedly, once we get the new Unity, all these things are going to change. I, I was thinking about putting suspensions on uh, the cars and uh, the engine and all that, just for the sake of it, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, too, uh, someone was uh, saying about with all these uh, runs back and forth to the north and south, might as well scan that area, so that is what we're going to do. So i got a scanner on here, and we're going to do some scanning. Uh, and someone else had also mentioned too about about printer queues, and I'll show you this in a second because there's actually one printer I didn't set up yet. Uh, oh, look at that! Like a pro. Okay, let's uh, turn that off. Okay. Uh, also, uh, in case you're wondering about storage, I put 36 small containers on either side, well, 18 on either side, uh, for storage, carrying some stuff. Uh, just building supplies, I've taken like every plate and frame and circuit that I have in the area just for these builds. Uh, one of the things I'm going to have to get more production going on is mechanical parts, and that's because I want to use more more conveyors just for decoration, for decorative purposes. But anyway, so this is what you do. You go here, you change this to 9999, or sorry, six nines, and it will automatically produce. Now when it go take, take when it prints one, it's not gonna change to nine eight, it's gonna stay nine nine, so it does sort of glitch out. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this with all four slots just in case. And I went and did this over at the the hydroelectric refinery. I set all refineries to do the same, full stacks of the deuterium and I did the food and drink machines the same, full stacks of water and uh, I was a little concerned about that one. I couldn't access one of the food and drink machines for some reason. It was not giving me any interaction, interactive prompt. Wow, this is a while ago. This door I'm so used to these containers being here, and I stepped out. It's like, where'd they all go? But anyways, uh, that's another thing I want to do too. Is when uh, when we get to the the container areas, I want to expand the platform and put a second conveyor connector on so in that way instead of taking one off the platform putting the other one on and then juggling them around I can just drop the empty one on pick up the, the full one and load it back on the train and off we go but before we go I have that all set up uh, the aluminum box did move whatever uh, I'm gonna do a quick save here and I want to take this thing for a test test flight Ah, uh, the magic of video editing. Nobody knows that I paused the video, but I paused the video. I actually cut it. But, anyways, uh, I'm not even gonna worry about unplanting the, it from the ground. I just wanna take the weight, take the counterweight. And the reason why I saved is because I'm pretty sure this is gonna kill me. Pretty sure it's gonna kill me. All right. So which one do I have turned off? This one. I think. Oh, it's this one. It's a this one. All right. Up, up. Come on. I think I'd be good at that by now. Elevator down. Hmm. Need more lift. Up we go. Uh, come on, let's get all the way up. Yes, perfect. 
Okay, now the question is... No, I can't. Hmm. Excuse me a moment while I make an extension cord and get off this thing because I'm stuck now. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck. I'll find my way out. Not too worried. Okay, I uh, extended the power on this a little bit. And I just watched the gold card completely fly out of the train. Uh, I know it's got to do with the hinges, and I also do know that if I try to throw suspensions into the mix, uh, things are going to be kind of dangerous. It's alive. That's good you guys saved. <laughs> this is why I always make up back make backup saves. Always. Anyways, uh, that is all powered up, so we'll turn build vision off. That's okay if that does that, because I'm probably not going to live after this one. Right, let's get that hover mode off. Oh, they got to increase the speed of that so much. Oh, that's not what I want. I want... Come on. What? Can I not reach it? Oh, did I miss it? Come on. Uh, something's not getting power. What's going on? Oh, ha 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 ha. Because I forgot to take the jack out. Of course. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, I knew there was something wrong, or why it wasn't working. Oh, come on, you'd think I'd be used to that by now. There we go. Come on, come to Papa. Needs more lift. Alright, and so now all we do is we hop on the platform. I gotta watch out I don't get stuck in there. Stay on the blocks. And I uh, should be able to reach it. Come on, right in the corner. Really? Oh, that's no fun. Come on. Hmm. See if I can reach the other one. No, I cannot. I'm gonna get it one way or another. I just know that if I launch it now and I'm not actually standing on it, it's gonna hurt. Oh, I should put it on the bottom. All right, hang on. Okay, I got it all rewired and ready to go. Except for the fact that the counterweight's completely gone. Oh, oh, there it is. Was it not there? I'm gonna have to watch the video back, but I'm pretty sure the counterweight wasn't there. Uh, the train is still doing its thing, that's fine, because I got a backup save. Because I'm gonna die here anyways. So, let's do this. That wasn't bad. It's actually got kind of fun. Kind of slow, though. I want to do it again. Let's do it again. I'm going third person, too. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I thought that was going to kill me. Instant death. Reset. Come on. Screw.
squish. And one more for good measure. Is it good? Okay. okay I gotta hit V and then E and then V. We pretty accurate. Same spot every time. Okay. Enough fun and games. Let's go build something. Uh, I actually have to reload my save file to fix the train, actually. The container's okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can fix this. I think my keyboard's dying. Or our keyboard's just dying. It's wireless, so batteries could be going, but it could be just me. It's not been banging the keys too hard, I don't know. Can I reach you? Yes I can. Alright, now the fun part. Let's see if we can actually do this. I wanna see if I can pick up that container and load it while this thing is actually in the air. Alright. Beep, 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 yeah. Gotta make some sort of noise. Alright, so, uh, let's see if we can pick it up. Not that we actually need the gold, there's actually, I don't know, 30 stacks in here. Don't really need it for much, but we will need the titanium, and that's in the same area. It's actually in the same station. I really thought about this theme. I was going to try to sort of get like an Aztec thing going with that one, but I don't know how well that's going to play out. But we shall see. But anyways, I'm going to load this up, and... Yeah, I'll bring you back when I get to the the first station. Okay, so here we are down in the south. Uh, I did do a little bit of mapping. As you can see, it didn't have to go too far. So when we go all the way up here in the back down, we're going to get a good area scanned. I have been noticing huge leg spikes when I scan. I don't know if that's just with me and what I've done to this world, and the things and the creations that I have that are causing physics anomalies left right and center but let's see if this did its job it did look at that nice is that still configured no it's not it reset i wonder why i wonder if it's got to do with uh when i came back because after i planted that i actually did a save reloaded came back uh, I uh, went back to the other save to find out how big the platform was. But this is doing good. That's actually working out pretty good. 46. We're going to cap out here until this is completely full, though. Uh, same with this one. I will have to get rid of all the garbage out of here. I don't know why this one... This one resets. The other one doesn't. I don't know why. Maybe it loses power at some point in time. Do not know. So that's aluminum. That's silver. Let's go check on the cobalt. And then we're going to do a quick nap rooney. Oh, I'll do a quick nap rooney. I'm going to cut everything out. And then, uh, yeah, then we're going to uh, extend these bases and put this station. I'm going to put it like right here. Not 100% sure. Somewhere in between the two mines, just so it's easy. Easy, easily accessible and look at that that one actually worked too good and this one is actually half full good because we need to zen uh, the cobalt is that still set up it is where is all this random stuff coming out from unless it was already there to begin with do not know but uh let me clear all this junk out of here and I'll bring you back when it's 
now it's time to start building uh start building the station.
Okay, so here's what I got. I couldn't really think of much of what I wanted to do around here. I was originally thinking of something like, uh, you know, an old school mine from the, the Cold War or something like that. And then the only, thing I get, the only other thing that could really go through my mind when I start thinking of, like, the cold north or the cold south is, well, you know, the Great Canadian Wilderness. So I figured, why not? Let's throw a log cabin here. Uh, I was getting an extreme amount of lag trying to build this thing. I wonder why. It's all the conveyors, probably. But I have been camping out here for a little while. We got a full container of silver, a full container of aluminum, and almost a full container of cobalt. Uh, as you can see, I've already widened the platforms, put the other connectors on. So now, let's drop, let's land, park the train on the platform, on the station, and see how well it works. Alright, up we go. Uh, I turned, I planted it while it was still turned on, so I gotta turn it on before I implant it. Just so it doesn't kill me. Okay. And there. And there. I tell you, I felt so good to open up that large container and see 108 stacks of cobalt in there. Should last a couple of days. Uh, a little more than that, but we actually need the cobalt for a lot of stuff. We need it for uh, the Mark II composites. We need it for, I think, the reinforced. Was it the reinforced plates or the reinforced frames or the Mark II plating? But one of them we need it for it. All right, so up we go. Hop in here. And let's see if we can land this thing. Now, I do know it is long enough. The other one is about 50 ceiling tiles long. So all we do is we just land this thing in the brown area. See, got the cobalt platform laid out already. I might adjust the steering on this too. I think I might just like, because I have all of them steering where I should only have like the first half of them steering but we're gonna have to go up and then we're gonna have to loop around because I built that in a bad spot ah uh, be easy we'll just we'll just grab a couple of pistons and push it out of the way better yet let's try using a winch actually what would be really handy is if you, if you use like a the hover jack, and while it's on the hover jack, you could actually push it. That'd be an interesting idea. But let us go down. Make sure we don't. Never mind. Well, that's one less tree we have to worry about. Okay. Oh, we are off slightly. The only thing that really makes it difficult to fly in anything in this game is a drift. I don't know if that's just the aerodynamics causing that, or if it's the the planet rotating, or the game physics doing its whatever it wants. Oh, am I really too short? Come on, come on, I can nudge it in there. Oh my god, did that just fit? Let's find out. Get out of here. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, power's over here. We kill that. Oh, look at that. It just, just fit. Alright, I have to remember the next one's got to be a little bit longer. Just hanging off the back end. Wow. And I thought it was going to be long enough. Would have been without the log cabin in the way. But anyways, let's, uh, let's go grab our first container. All right, and this one, we go like that, that. And up we go. So let us uh, go do the cobalt first. 
the most important one. And then you can almost see this game's like rocket science. Just the way you gotta null out your drift it does go out on its own eventually. But it comes in it's good knowledge to have when you're trying to do precision stuff like this. And I was going to make these hooks longer and I've totally forgot about it. But there we go. There's the first container. We just take this over here. We drop her down. I might actually make these hooks a little bit longer. Just because it's going to be a little easier to drop the containers down. What side with the connector on? Okay, good. It was this side. Because this container, as you can see, I just sort of dropped down. Oh, there's an auto save. Okay, and down we go. Oh, I am terrible at this. That's why I don't fly. Forward a little bit. And I see green, so we are connected. Yes, slightly longer hooks would definitely help. I'm actually going to do that right now. Back this up and I'll bring you back when I got longer hooks. Okay, now my only concern is that they're going to be too long for the train now. But we will find out soon. It won't be that hard to fix, all I gotta do is just put a couple blocks on the inside just to lift the loader up. And yes, zooming in a little bit would definitely help here. Let's actually do that. All right, let's uh, skip this container. Grab and run. All right, that's gonna make it. It's gonna save me a few minutes every time I change containers. Because then, like I said, I don't have to put this on the ground, pick up the other one, put that on the ground, put that, grab this one, put it back up, grab, pick up the other one, bring it to the train. Now I just pick this up out of the train, drop it on the platform, grab the other one, and put it back on the train. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to gather up the last of the containers here and then start my, making my way north. The long, long journey north up to... Yeah, we'll go hit up the, tit the titanium and gold mine first, and then we'll head off to the desert. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.